Hey, this is Coach Adrian, and welcome to your 30-day plank challenge. Now, this is slightly different to a lot of the plank challenges you see online. And for starters, I'm actually going to do the challenge with you. I don't want you to go through this alone. I'm going to go there with you through each and every day. We'll be doing the planks together. We'll be doing the same timings together. And I'm going to keep giving you the techniques and the tips as we go through each day as well to make sure that we're really focusing on getting the best out of our plank challenge. Okay, We want to get the best out of those abs. Over the next 30 days, we're going to do a variety of different planks as well. So it's not just going to be the same plank that we just hold for longer each day. We're going to do a variety of different planks just to challenge your body slightly different. And obviously, yes, we will be increasing that time as well. But it's not always about just increasing the time. It's about adding little challenges in and maybe tweaking a plank slightly differently to maybe something you've done before just to challenge the body differently as well. And that's what we're going to be covering over the next 30 days. But what we're going to do first of all in this video, I want to go through the technique of the low plank that we're going to use for the first uh, for the first seven days, actually, for the first week. We're going to be in a low plank position, but we're going to build it up from there as we go. But it's very important that we cover the technique, because when you do a plank, and if you go to a, a fitness class, you can see 30 different people doing a plank, they'll be slightly different with the way they do it, and I want to make sure we get that position right. Like I said, this is about getting the best for your body, we need to make sure we get the technique right. So I'm going to show you the technique, obviously feel free to follow along at the same time, you only need a mat for this challenge, and we only need a mat for this one as well. So. First of all, I'm going to give you a couple of different options. We're going to start on our knees, but I'm going to show you the toe option as well. So, we're going to come down onto our forearms. And what does that say is it's really important, not just to get your elbows into the mat, but get your forearms down as well, okay? This is about point of contact. So the more point of contact we have with the ground, the easier this is going to help in terms of things like our balance and our stability, but it also might make it slightly easier for us as well getting into that position. So we're going to go forearms down onto the ground, about shoulder width apart. So if you see my left elbow here is directly underneath my shoulder, and that's where we want to make sure we're, we're not elbows out to the side here because it's very easy for you to sort of slip, and also they're not too far in front. So if you see my elbow here to where my shoulders are, this is too far in front, so this is going to put a lot of pressure on the shoulder. It's going to put a lot of pressure on the abs as well. When we hold that plank, it's a lot harder to hold. We want to get in the best position for that plank. So, elbow directly under shoulder. You can just quickly look. They're all good where they are. And we're going to go into our knee position first of all. So, I've got my uh, forearms elbow, sort of shoulder width apart. My hands are down just in front of my face. And it's important with your head position we're going to keep looking at your hands during this plank challenge, okay? So I don't want you looking at me, okay, when we do the planks, but I will be talking as we hold, so we just keep reiterating these positions. So I want to make sure that head position stays nice and strong, so we're not looking around the room, we're not looking at our belly, our knees, or our feet, because what this does, as soon as you do this, it puts a lot of stress onto the neck. So what we want to do is keep our neck in its most natural position, which is here. Head is pulled back slightly, and we're looking at the hands. So the knees go into the ground, and you can keep your knees about hip width apart, so mine are just slightly apart. And as you lift, what I want you to focus on is squeezing your bum and squeezing your belly. Okay, so we're pulling in the belly button in towards the spine, and we're squeezing the backside, so we're holding nice and strong in that low plank position, okay, when we're on the knees. And if you just look, you can see my head position, just looking at my hands, forearms are down, hands are nice relaxed, I know some people put them down, but my hands are nice and relaxed, keeping the upper body relaxed. We don't want to tense up when we do that, okay, because it's going to cause us, obviously, just to burn excess energy that we want to use to hold. And when you exercise, it's much better when you're relaxed, okay? When your body's relaxed, it will perform better. So that's the low plank, okay? So bracing, giving those abs that little squeeze, thinking about that head position, and then just breathing, just whatever's natural to you, okay? It's not natural to hold your breath, so make sure you are breathing, okay? So now we're going to go into the toe position. So it's exactly the same with the upper body. Nothing changes. The only thing that's going to happen is I'm just going to lift off the knees, come onto the toes. And again, what I like to do is make sure I've got my feet about hip width apart. You can go slightly wider if you find you're a little bit wobblier. Okay, that'll give you a stronger base. If you have your feet together, that can challenge your balance slightly as well. So that can make it a little bit harder. So if you're really good at planks, these are all the ways you can do to make it harder. You just move where your feet are. So I'm going to come down onto my knees first. And then from there, I just lift up, keeping my body nice and straight. And if you look from my ankle through my knee to my hip, 
into my shoulder and even into my ear on my left side, as my left side is nearest to you, I've got that lovely straight body. Okay, so like I said, what we're doing is avoiding the head dropping. Don't need to look at my feet, they're not doing anything, or my knees or my belly. It's holding nice and strong. And we're not letting the hips drop. And we're also not lifting up here. So those are a couple of the things that you tend to find with planks. Okay, one of the biggest things, like I said, is people allow their head to drop. Or when you're teaching a class, you see people, especially when you're walking around the class and helping people and adjusting, you do see a lot of people lifting their heads up and looking around and seeing what's going on. We always want to keep that head position strong, which is basically here. So if we're in that lovely plank position, we're here. And you see my head position, it's there. And if I tip forward and go four arms down, it's exactly the same position. I'm just looking straight ahead, but obviously working the abs quite hard on the floor when we're holding that plank. So it's really important that we get the foundations right. And this is what this 30 day challenge will be. We get the foundations of those planks, the low planks, and we will be going into a high plank position as well as we go through the 30 days. But we get the basics right, we build up the strength from there. Okay, so we don't jump straight in and go too mad with it. We just build up a foundation of strength and then day after day, we just keep adding a little bit, challenging a little bit of the time and like I said, taking those moves and maybe tweaking them slightly as well to give you a little bit of extra challenge. So make sure you get your technique right. But like I said, as we go through the videos, I'm gonna set a timer. I'll tell you exactly how long we've got to go on each one, on each day. We'll go through the plank together, but I will reiterate Thinking about the head position, squeezing the belly and squeezing the bum. Like I said, I don't want you to do this journey on your own. You're going to go through it with me. Um, that way it makes it a little more enjoyable rather than just thinking it's just you on your own. No, no, no. We're going to go through this one together. It's all about teamwork at the end of the day. So anyway, practice that technique. Make sure you're ready for day one. Day one, if you want to start it today, get it done. If not, boom, get straight on it tomorrow. Um, and we'll get straight into that plank. and start getting those abs and those core muscles working. Okay, your core muscles everything that attaches around the hips and also the shoulder girdle as well okay that's why when we plank they're going to be working hard i want to make those shoulders nice and strong as well so until day one i hope you enjoyed that little intro and it gives you a little bit of an insight maybe into planks maybe you haven't had that tweak slightly uh, in the past but that's what we're here to do that's what i want to do get it right from day one and we can really nail it and get those core muscles working hard but until day one i'll see you soon